Today is Grand Cayman Day, waiting for our port of Adventure Time. We see Goofy in the lobby, as well as Cinderella greeting some guests before they head out. Yep, 
She sunk here yesterday, guys. <laughs> All right, again, this shipwreck is called the Wreck of the Kelly. She was 175 feet long and 25 feet wide when she sunk in 1944. The captain wanted the Kelly to be faster, so he decided to fit two diesel engines into it. However, when the Kelly was leaving Cuba, she found a storm, and during the storm, one of the diesel engines fell clear and punctured the hull of the ship, and the water began to flood. It was not too bad at that point, until the water reaches the cargo hold. Why? Because it was a complete bag of rice, nine tons of rice. And of course, you know what happens to rice when it gets wet, it expands. So the rice grew so big that it split the ship into pieces, and the ship sank in 15 feet of water at 50 yards from shore. But the good news is, the captain and the crew could make their way back to shore, so everybody survived. So now this has become a dive site here as well, and snorkeling. Lots of people go swimming around here, and there's lobsters and crabs and moray eels under the shipwreck. But they only come out at night time, so I go night diving just to look at these guys. Look out for the porcupine puffer fish around these areas as well. Those are the guys that popped up like a balloon whenever they feel threatened. They're white with black spots. And what you see slowly coming in, that looks like rocks and boulders. These are called Arctic corals. They are also called the reef building coral, as they made the base of most of our Caribbean islands. In fact, coral is not a rock or plant, it's a living animal. So if you touch any of these corals or step on it, they can be easily damaged as they are very fragile animals. And they are very nice and healthy all day round, guys. If you see any schools of tiny blue fish swimming around these corals, that is a sign of healthy coral. And those tiny blue fishing groups are called blue chromis. They love healthy coral. There are sandy beaches and stingrays, as we have got Stingray City on the other side of the island. At Stingray City, the stingrays are very friendly, so we feed them squid and we hug and kiss them all the time. They're very friendly. Stingrays like to glide along the sand, so it is a very good place to spot them. And the female, as I said, is bigger than the male. So if you kiss a female stingray at Stingray City, that's seven years good luck. And if you kiss a male stingray, that's 14 years good luck. I do it all the time, guys. I get, I get a lot of good luck. <laughs> And did you know, stingrays can give birth to live young, and not eggs, as most people will expect of a fish. Stingrays are ovoviviparous. This means that the mother keeps the eggs inside her belly after they hatch, feeding the pups fluids and egg yolks to help them grow. The temperature of this water is about 81 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It gets very warm, like this all year round in Grand Cayman. This is why lots of people come to swim here, around these areas because it's very warm. Cruising along, we're in, we're in 25 feet water where the sand is. Keep your eyes open guys, if you see anything interesting. And some of these art corals can have, dif can have different shapes. Some might look like brains, some might look like cauliflowers, but they're all art corals. They just have different shapes. A bit bigger than the first shipwreck. The captain is going to make a turn as well, so it will be on the opposite side. So she is called the Balboa, the wreck of the Balboa. You see her slowly coming in here? Famous dive site here as well. Grand Cayman has over 365 dive sites. And this shipwreck is one of them. Mostly night diving here. The squarish object, that's the boiler room. So this shipwreck was 225 feet long and 30 feet wide when she sunk on the 9th of November, 1932. She was delivering wood and lumber from Jamaica to Cayman, back and forth. And Jamaica is not too far away from here. It's 45 minutes from here by plane. So this shipwreck is responsible for building a memorial church in Georgetown, just right across from the port. So she sunk due to the biggest hurricane known to date into the Caribbean. Well, I can't tell you the name of the hurricane, as it was in 1932, and they started naming hurricanes in 1935. This hurricane sat in Grand Cayman on our sister island called Cayman Brock for 52 hours. The winds were gusting 250 miles an hour and the hurricane killed 109 people on our sister island Cayman Brock. And Cayman Brock population is 2,000 people. 
So it is way smaller than Grand Cayman, and it is 30 minutes away from here by plane. And when the Balboa sank, she split all her cargo off. As the cargo was a complete cargo of wood, when the eye of the hurricane was overhead, the captain and the crew could make their way back to shore walking on the wood. Well, you might not believe this story, but it's the only one we know, as there are no witnesses on this happened. And when she sank, guys, she sank in one piece, but as you can see, she is now laying pieces all across the seabed. Why? Because she sank in the middle of her main shipping lane. And of course, this was a big hazard for ships passing by. So the government decided to dynamite it, 50 pounds of dynamite. He wrote it on a piece of paper, he gave it to his men so they can set up the dynamites. But somebody went and added an extra zero. So that's 500 pounds of dynamite. So now you can easily imagine that this shipwreck flew 30 feet into the air and he laid in pieces all across the sea bed. Alright, the captain is making a turn. So fishing is also popular in Grand Cayman and seafood is a popular food here. But we're not allowed to fish around these areas because all of your tour is a national park. So we have to go about two miles offshore to fish. We have one invasive fish here that doesn't belong here. They put stress on coral reefs. They're found in Florida and other parts of North, Amer of North America. They're known as a lionfish. I don't know what the lionfish looks like. It is brown with white stripes and it has 18 long venomous spines around their body as it looks like a lion's mane. So if you touch any of those long spines, it will deliver venom. And they don't have any predators here, guys. So there's a term in Cayman. We have to eat them to beat them. So when I go scuba diving, I take a spear with me at all times and then I spear at least five lionfish a day and they will carefully take their spines off that, because that's where the venom is and then we take them to a restaurant called Rackham's where we docked off of so they can fry them for us. Very tasty fish. My check, one, two, my check. Alright guys, look to the left. You see the ugly black and red fish? That's the captain right there. And as you can see, all those fish are going to him, not because of his aftershave, but because he's feeding them with burger buns. That's what they love. Yup, he is risking his life for you guys, so smile and wave in return. He is going to swim around the submarine, so you will get a chance to see him, guys. Alright? The captain is going to be coming to our window. Hello, guys. Gonna be eaten by a shark soon. Gonna open a shark cage. So, yeah. Well, look at all those fishes. Oh my god! Look at all of them. Oh my god. Are those uh, snappers? No, 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 no. No. Remember? I said it. I said the big ones. Do you remember that? Small ones. 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 Small All right, guys, our captain is going to jump out of the water. I really do hope that they enjoy the fish feed. So once he gets out of the submarine, he is going to take his gear off, and then we're going to be heading back to shore. So please make sure not to leave anything behind, guys. And we are less than 10 minutes away from shore.
Mic check, one, two. Just 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> just so All right, guys, so as we're heading back to shore, maybe you guys would like to know a little bit about Grand Cayman. So Grand Cayman has two other islands, and just three islands in total, and we are called the sister islands. The first one, Little Cayman, and Cayman Brock that I mentioned. And they are 30 minutes away from here by plane. Little Cayman has a population of 200 people. Cayman Brock is 2,000 people. And Grand Cayman is 69,000 people. So Grand Cayman is the biggest island. It's 22 miles long and 8 miles across at its widest to the total area of 76, 76 square miles. So if you just take one day to travel around Grand Cayman, it will only take you about 5 hours to complete. Grand Cayman is 60 feet above sea level and our language here is only English and it's owned by the UK, it's British territory. As you see, we drive on the left side of the road, which is the wrong side for you guys. <laughs> and Cayman focuses on banking and tourism and we don't pay taxes here guys, Grand Cayman is a tax-free country. Yeah. So a cruise ship Disney is anchored, she anchors to 80 feet deep and behind a cruise ship, it drops to 6,700 feet deep. Because we have the Cayman Trench, which is the deepest part of the Caribbean Sea, maxing out a five miles deep, which is about 25,000 feet. So it starts behind a cruise ship and it goes all the way to Jamaica. And Jamaica is 45 minutes from here by plane. And Grand Cayman's favorite food, this might shock you, is turtle, turtle stew. Yeah, I heard it tastes like chicken. But I'm a Jamaican, we don't eat turtles. Yeah, I'll stick to my normal chicken. Yeah. So they, they, they eat turtles serving rice and beans with brown gravy on the top. Yeah. Yeah, they're crazy for that, yeah. Caymanians are the citizens here and they love their turtles on a Sunday. Yeah. Alright guys, we're now at fifth test of Barracuda swimming away on the left Barracuda on the left side. Barracuda. Alright guys, we're now at 50 yards from completing our tour. So I'd like to take this moment to thank everybody on board. I really